Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Saturday morning, August 9th, 2014, here in the end times in the beautiful redwoods of Felton, California. Your old doomsday tourist eco-Nazi has to get on an airplane back to the hellhole of Austin, Texas, but I got time for one more rant before I go, and what this is a picture of, guys, is not where I am in uh, Felton, California. This is a picture from Siberia. I was completely unaware of this until a couple of nights ago. I've been on vacation without much internet out in the wilderness, so I was unaware of perhaps the single biggest development on this planet this entire summer, and this is somewhere in the middle of Siberia. And what this thing is, this, this giant gaping hole in this planet, is one of three of these giant craters that erupted in the middle of Siberia, actually the, the northern Siberia, as the methane burps begin, I guess. These, these methane burps just blew out these craters and created these open sores on the uh, on the skin of this planet up at the top of the world while I was relaxing in the Sierra Mountains and as my friend last night when I showed her this picture she was unaware of this too uh, said and that looks like a picture of the collapse of a planet. And I told her, darling, that is exactly what this is. Anybody who literally wants to see a photograph on the mainstream media of the collapse of a planet, a sign of the end times needs to look no further than this article from a few days ago in the Washington Post this is not from uh, Guy McPherson's website, although I'm sure Guy has talked about this story. He's been predicting this for years. Uh, these eco-Nazi fear mongers talking about these methane burps. And I'm going to put the link to this Washington Post story, but before I get into it, I loved this other story from a... This is from the alternative press called iflscience.org. I don't know what IFL stands for. Their headline on this story is Climatologist says Arctic carbon release could mean, quote, we are fucked. There you go. I think that is the, uh, that's just getting the situation on this planet into a couple of words. We are fucked, according to the scientists. Okay, I'm just going to read a, the first couple of paragraphs and then put the link on here because i got to get on an airplane and do my part to create methane burps on this planet. All right. Climatologists have spent decades politely warning that we are cooking our planet. But now, one has decided to stop sugarcoating it. Professor Jason Box of the Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland, and Greenland said, I guess this was a few days ago, quote, If even a small fraction of Arctic seafloor carbon is released into the atmosphere, we are fucked. And... So actually, he made this comment right about when these things were erupting on land, but he, but he was actually talking about research about these methane plumes under the Arctic Ocean uh, bubbling up from the seafloor, which has been going on for a couple of years. These craters on land is just the first time they've hit land. So Box was responding to research by a Stockholm University study 
reporting uh, the vast methane plumes escaping from the seafloor in the Arctic Ocean. And the scientists who made that discovery were more restrained uh, than Professor Box saying this was somewhat of a surprise and talking about uh, the these methane plumes as a forewarning of danger yep 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 anyway good article from there but let's see how the mainstream media is playing up this story about the end of the world here and this is the Washington Post from a few days ago scientists may have cracked the giant Siberian crater mystery and the news is not good you think so guys take a look at that picture and I think you will agree with the Washington Post that the news is not good. And so they are actually talk about all three of these uh, craters. They have a, a video link of these Russians up there scratching their head. And so scientists have now substantiated a theory about what created the craters and the news isn't so good. And I love how they, how the mainstream media, they love this word may. It may be methane gas released by the thawing of frozen ground. And so what the Washington Post here does is they, it's basically a review of a more technical article that came out in the scientific journal Nature last week. Quoting from that article, air near the bottom of the crater contained unusually high concentrations of methane, up to 9.6% methane. 9.6% methane. And to put that into perspective, air normally contains 0.0000. .00 one eight percent methane i i don't have time to do my math does that mean a thousand ten thousand or a hundred thousand times the uh, background rate of methane i don't think it really matters at this point and they are blaming this year's methane burp on the unusually hot summers in 2012 and 2013 when uh, for melting the permafrost when arctic temperatures were five degrees celsius uh, higher than the 20th century average we keep hearing this planet-wide like 0 0.8 degrees celsius but in the arctic where the global warming is much more concentrated we are already this year seeing five uh, two years ago five degrees celsius i think that's maybe like seven or eight degrees fahrenheit and uh so this is a description of one researcher about the crater its rims are slowly melting and falling into the crater you can hear the ground falling you can hear the water running it is rather spooky yep rather spooky and then they talk about how methane is 20 times more potent as a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide we've heard that before then of course we have to have an ad from google in the middle of this uh, then NASA, they talk about NASA's uh, studies of the building methane problem and the absolute disaster that it's going to be if this were to happen. This, this, one of these craters was 20 miles away from a commercial gas field. I don't know uh, whether that's going to uh, 
whether that gas field is being fracked or not, but they're talking about imagine if one of these craters blows off in the middle of a commercial gas field or especially in the middle of a town. And I love this quote. They go back to 2010 uh, looking at an Associated Press article from 2010 quote, the melting of Siberia's permafrost is a climate time bomb waiting to explode if released into the atmosphere. Well, there you go, guys. The, those old doomsday prophets at Associated Press. There you go. The climate time bomb has exploded, and there is a photo of the collapse of a planet as the climatologists are telling anyone who wants to listen, we are fucked. And with that cheery note, your old doomsday tourist is going to wrap up his California vacation and climb into an airplane and do my part to help collapse a planet. Been nice knowing you guys. Smoke them if you got them. Because we're all out of here. Bye, guys.